Good morning. We are from China Tsuji Senior High School. Our team is Power, Power of Love. My name is Jessica. I'm Eddie. I'm Iris. Today our topic is Islamic religion. Here's the pictures. Have you ever heard of this woman? She is an iconic girl who fights for women's rights. Although her childhood was full of adventures and dangers, she didn't start striving for women's rights for education. Her name is Malala Yousafzai. Recently, a woman called Emily died because the way she wore her hijabs caused policemen to beat her up. Her death set of people's protest and it became a topic of concern to the world. The new extended question, why Islam women have to use hijab to cover their head? According to Islamic tradition, women with hijab represent being humble and married. Otherwise, prostitutes and worse. There's another meaning. They think that's not only a female hair is a kind of large man, but her headdress is also a show of ostentation. But wearing hijab is a tradition, their habits. But many countries cannot stand this, which has caused a lot of controversy. In India, school issued an injunction to prevent people from wearing hijab. Muslim students and Indians throw stones to each other and argue. The police even released tear jerkers. On day keep happening, and the government had to announce the closures of the campus for a while. Students said their teacher may not get out just because they were wearing hijabs. They sat in a stairwell outside the classroom in silent protests. They saw that wearing hijab is their belief and also a right that the government needs to ensure. At the same time, the school forced them to admit that they were absent for no reason. The school said between studies and hijab, they could only choose one. Their education rights are getting straightened. This case attracted Muslim country to speak out for those students. Indian leaders said India did not stop the marginalization of Muslim women, Manala said. Education to hijabs. They all had many phenomena that are very unfair to women. They stand out and strive for rights like bread Manala, like a protector to help someone who is hurt. Thank you. Now there's Q&A session. Okay, so that's interesting and very current news, okay? That is still going on right now in Iran, especially the woman who was killed because he was, she wasn't wearing properly her... She was wearing, but it wasn't proper. But your connection was education and wearing it, right? Wearing in... Was it in India? India, um, they are being bullied if they're not um, in school. It's banned. If you don't, a lot of hijab, con it is banned, right? So what do you think of that? Like, for example, here in Taiwan, if you will be asked, you have to wear something on your head to cover your head, what will be your reaction? Yeah. 
it's part of maybe let's say it's your part of your school uniform and it's very very hot it's uncomfortable yeah so are you going to wear it and or you will be marked absent if you will not be wearing it uh, because you said it's equal to education i will not be wearing it <laughs> you will not wear it no but you will be absent in class <laughs> okay, it's very, very controversial and it's very, very current. So I think we have to really study more about that. And for those women, we really have to give our support. You know, because this is our right. We have the right to, to study. That is the basic fundamental right. We have to be educated, whether wearing a job or not, right? So I'm glad that you have chosen this topic. Well done, girls. Thank you.